Good morning. Good morning. Breakfast time here. I have a sharp knife and I'm not going to run with it. You know, it's, um, my mornings I have a really great ritual. I, um, I'm up at five o'clock. I have my espresso with a um, half a teaspoon of honey and I sit and get ready, uh, get ready for the gym. Um, I, I, I work out at six o'clock in the morning. I come back and I take uh, my crazy puppy for a walk and, you know, I have this beautiful ritual. And then from there I have breakfast, which I'm creating now uh, after my shower. And then I'll spend about 30 minutes of meditation um, really before I get into my day. My day is planned out and I've got, uh, you know, I've got appointments scheduled throughout the day. But what is, um, you know, what I'm getting to realize and especially um, over the last, uh, probably the last five or six years, I really noticed, you know, um, where the resistance uh, has been coming from in me and I'm realizing that, <laughs> You know, as much as we as much as we try to fight it, you know, the 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 secret to you know having extraordinary power is in the feeling, right? The power to move mountains is, is in the feeling that you generate, because it's the feelings you gen the feelings you generate or you allow to show up inside of you will dictate your actions, and your actions, of course, will dictate your future. And the wrestling point is always trying to bring your emotions back to, back to uh, you know, back to baseline, right? Back to a, a really uh, a stable place. And I'm not saying that you walk around um, <clears throat> happy and joyful and blissed all, all the time, because I think that's kind of unreasonable, right? And I think people get really quite, um, um, quite frustrated with themselves because, you know, why, why aren't I happy? Why aren't I blissful? Well, you know, life's, you know, we'll look at the world around you. The world's out of its mind, <laughs> right? We live in a challenging world, so there's moments of uh, certainly there's moments of bliss. You know, I had a, a wonderful dinner with my son last night. He bought dinner, it was amazing, um, and great conversation. And I have great conversations with clients, and uh, I love it when you know I get a message from somebody saying, you know, we've already been working together for a month, and already I have this power that I never, I just, I never believed in myself until now, and. And what it all boils down to is that where, the, where our power comes from, sorry, just don't wipe my hands, where the power comes from is the power to move mountains, the power to do extraordinary things in life is all based on the feeling. It, you know, and I equate it to, um, you know, when I look at, look at my time in the gym over the last 30 years, right? So I've been a, I've been a, a weightlifter for, an, an athlete for, you know, well, three decades. And, and how do I know when I'm on point when it comes to training? How do I know I'm, I'm training properly? Because it feels a very particular way. When I'm doing a rotational exercise, when I'm doing a balance exercise, when I'm trying to do a strength movement, um, I'm trying to do a power-based movement, right? What tells me I'm on track is not how it looks, it's how it feels, right? Because the feeling is the answer. The feeling tells me I'm, I'm, you know, I'm on point. The feeling tells me that I'm, my, what I'm doing is accurate, my behavior is accurate. And so I can reconcile the feelings I'm having against the actions I'm taking and the results I'm getting. Right, and that's kind of profound. I mean, think about it. Right, I can reconcile, you know, the feelings I'm having against the actions I'm taking, against the results that I'm getting. And how perfect is that? That we're we're given we're given this powerful tool um, if we're aware, if we allow ourselves to be aware, if we start paying attention, and we're very self-aware. Right. So think about it. Right, the feelings I'm having, the feelings that are being generated inside of me, whether from a physical point of view or an emotional point of view, right, are connected to the behavior I'm generating and the results I'm getting. And really all I really have to do is focus on things that will change the things that I'm feeling. So this morning I, you know, after the, after the gym, I took the, you know, taking the dog for a walk and I'm walking in the street and of course, you know, it's a brisk morning and it's beautiful out and the sun is starting to sparkle the ocean. And, you know, and I'm, and I'm kind of speaking to God as I'm walking and I'm saying, you know, it's just, I'm astonished. I'm looking at the, the, you know, the different colors of green from the grass to the trees to the, um, you know, to uh, to the bushes and saying, man, it just it's extraordinary to see all this all this uh, you know incredible life in front of me. And all I had to do was wake up to to enjoy it and watch the sun coming up and uh, you know show up over the ocean. And all I had to do was wake up, keep myself alive, right? and to see it. And you know, the unlikelihood of that this thing that I live in that I call me is I don't have to do anything other than try to keep it healthy, right? Keep it healthy and keep it functioning for as long as I can. And it gives me the gift of life, it gives me the gift of appreciation, it gives me the gift of possibility. 
And when I and, and I think that's really the, the power around gratitude. When we talk about gratitude, um, gratitude isn't, uh, you know, it's not so much about, um, you know, uh, taking an inventory of my life. You know, I'm grateful that I have yada, yada, yada. I'm grateful for my dog. I'm grateful for, it, it's, the, it's the feeling that you generate, right? When you, when, you, uh, when you go back and you look at the multitude of things, the fact that I'm even actually having this conversation, and, and this was my conversation this morning as I was kind of walking with God as it were. So, you know, the fact that I'm actually having this conversation, the fact that I'm walking means that I'm alive, right? And I did nothing to earn the gift of life. It was just, it was a gift that was given to me. I'm charged, it's my responsibility to care for it as best I can, which I, you know, devoted the, the larger part of my life to. And that's my, that's my only responsibility, right? So you give me the gift of life, your job is to look after it, right? But again, as I said at the very beginning of this conversation, you know, the power is in the feeling. And every day I, I reconcile feelings, I reconcile what I'm feeling, right? So I'm, I'm selecting my thoughts, I'm choosing my thoughts, I'm choosing what I'm reading, I'm choosing what I'm saying, Right, I, I I I disallow or wrestle with you know if I have conflicting thoughts or ne let's say negative thoughts that are coming in that show up inside my head, which they do, um, but I reconcile them, right? So which means that I take the thought and then I I look at it. And say, is this false or is it true? Am I just being am I just being negative, right, just for the sake of it, or is this or is it, what I'm feeling or what I'm thinking? Is there anything any merit to it? And I look at it and says, okay, well yes, there's merit to it. Okay, so what action do I need to take? to reduce the intensity of this emotion, right? What do I need to do next? Be, you know, my, if I'm being prodded and, and poked by the emotions I'm having and they're telling me to pay attention. Um, okay, so I can do that. So what am I paying attention to? What, what, you know, what, what, what am I being prompted and provoked to pay attention to? And once I pay attention to it and then make a decision based off that feeling, what the feeling, the feeling awareness is trying to, trying to educate me, I take action and then of course that, that uncomfortable feeling should dissipate. Right? And you keep doing that every time a feeling like that shows up, you have to, you have to categorize either it's just a, it, either it's just a, it's a negative nonsense, right? And an end, negative nonsense, which means it's just same old story, 20 years, same old story, you know, nobody cares anymore, right? And it's not even true, right? Uh, a beautiful friend of mine once said this, she goes, my, the things that happened in my life were so long ago, they're not even true for me anymore. And I thought, oh my God, what a powerful statement. And think about that, the things in my past happened so long ago, they're not even true for me anymore. And I go, wow, what, a, like, what an extraordinary way to look at it. And, and how true can that be? Rather than continuously pulling that stuff forward. So, you know, the power to move mountains, again, is the feeling. Remember, if you invest time every day, multiple times a day, right, you, you're constantly refreshing these feelings. The feelings of certainty, the feelings of purpose, the feelings of groundedness, the feelings of connection, right, the feelings of certainty. And you continue to work and bring those feelings forward. Right? Those feelings start generating behaviors, right? They start altering the way you, you function, they alter the way you think, they alter the behaviors, that, the, the actions you take throughout the day, and of course, they ultimately change your destiny. Now, we know this. I mean, you know, it's, not like I'm, <laughs> it's not like I'm saying anything that's really quite earth -shattering. Oh my God, I've never heard that before, but we know it. But it's just the practice of it, and this is why we have spiritual practices. This is why we enter into that space. It's a daily event, and multiple times a day, we enter into that space to really reconcile what's coming at us. And you know, and when you, you know, and when you, and again, when you think about the simplicity of it, right? How are you feeling? What are those feelings telling you? Right? Is it the same old story? Are the feelings even valid? Is it just an echo? It's an echo chamber inside your mind, right? Inside your soul, just an echo chamber around and around. And where does that lead you, right? If you're stuck in that echo chamber. Yeah. Anyhow, it's it's really quite extraordinary. And, you know, and of course, you know, the, the, the fact is it's not the easiest thing in the world to do, but it's the most important thing in the world to do because, you know, life ain't easy, as you know, but life can be tremendously, um, tremendously fulfilling if we're willing to wrestle with the simple, simple tools that we're given, right? How you feel determines how you behave and how you behave, of course, will determine the course of your life, right? It's all in here. All right. Have a beautiful morning. I got to eat my breakfast. Talk to you later.